Retribution. Retribution. Oh, yeah. Let's see what they have to say. Let's see what they have to say. Preparing for a press conference this morning, a bond hearing later this afternoon. Eva Pilgrim is in Chicago with the latest. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Once the victim, now a suspect this morning at 515, Jesse Smollett turned himself into police. This morning, Jesse Smollett taken into custody. Police accusing him of filing a false police report, fabricating the racist and homophobic attack he said he suffered at the hands of two. All right. A lot of these hate crimes, especially after Trump was elected, sprouted up. You had lesbians punching themselves in the face, calling the police, saying Trump supporters did it. They were found to be guilty of their own hate crimes, right? A lot of them weren't charged, right? You had a lot of these events happen. <sighs> the problem is you have to have a heavy hand on the law, all right? If it's okay for one subject to do this, it's okay for the other. When Trump was elected president, they had it called him a, a, an anti-Jew, anti-Jewish. All this, there was a guy kicking over Jewish headstones. It found out to be he was Jewish himself. Right? You have a Muslim woman who was just simply riding the train, and what happened? She was attacked by Trump supporters, and her hajib was ripped off of her head. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. She made that story up as well. There was a black guy in the Navy who said in his barracks there was just racist. Nooses hung, swastikas. Well, when they went down to it, he was kicked out, and he was the one doing it, all right? SPLC is a disgusting corporation. They are a hate group in themselves that shovel offshore money in the Cayman Islands while making millions of dollars off of hate. All right. They have caused people to go out like the Scalise shooting. Our congressman who was shot almost died due to fake reporting. There's oh, Roscoe's like that was like a butterfly or something? I don't know. <laughs> um, where was I at? Uh, gosh, Roscoe, you just... Um, the fake hate crimes. All right, yeah. Roscoe, you just completely threw me off track. Gosh darn it, his cute face. Oh, the guy who went to a business because he thought that they were a hateful organization and shot up the people in the front and shot people inside the building because they were labeled as a hate group. There's a guy who was a Muslim, and he was pretty radical Muslim, and then he reformed himself, and he, he stepped back from that. He's labeled now as racist, even though he has very, very uh, general views of, like, uh, normal views that people have. These people are placed on certain lists, and it's infuriating people. And when you have media like this, like what we're watching below... These people are apologizing to us now. What did they do before? They gave him an interview. They let him lie and act on tape, on camera. These people do crimes upon themselves. These crimes are not statistically there. People are not dressed in MAGA hats beating black people, all right? I know. I'm linked in with the black community. I know. There is not much racism, all right? A lot of the racism is, is in people's heads, and it's kind of systematic, like, you know, how people believe, how people think, right? This, the shit that they, excuse me, the, the stuff they post on TV and stuff is not real. So when these liberal outlets report on these crazy things, they never include retractions. The liberal media never include retractions for anything, as a matter of fact. Maybe days later they'll have a little asterisk at the bottom saying oh we were wrong but the first story people throw out is what they believe and the liberal media wants you to believe these certain things for a reason they want you to believe that america is filled with hateful racist xenophobic xenophobic islamophobic racist people all right they're not 
they're just like me or you who have voted for Trump for a different, a change, you know, a change in the status quo. He just created, what, legislation that he's trying to get, like, uh, gay rights in, like, gay people not to be killed in, like, Saudi Arabia. Let's continue with this, though. Two men wearing ski masks. It's like, you know, at first it was a thing of, like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Then it became a thing of, Watch like, them backpedal oh, real fast. How can you doubt that? Like, how do you, how do you not believe that? It's the truth. Smollett detailed the alleged brutal attack in an interview with ABC last week. I mean, I see the uh, attacker uh, masked, and he said, "This MAGA country <laughs> punches me right in the face." So I punched his ass. Look back. to the left. He's and lying. Then, um, Look at him. Look down to the left. But in newly Lying. released surveillance video, these two brothers, who police initially identified as attackers, are seen buying what appear to be a ski mask and red baseball caps. Police say the men who sat for more than two hours for a grand jury yesterday told them they were paid by Smollett to stage and participate in the alleged attack. I think Jesse Smollett should come clear because the truth will set him free. The attorney for the two men speaking out last night outside the courthouse, claiming her clients and Smollett have been in contact at least once since the incident. I, wish I, I think like that, that Jesse's conscience is probably oh, not letting him sleep right fit. now, so I think he should unload that conscience and just come out and tell the American people what actually happened. Yeah. Make they sense. rolled over on their little friend there, didn't they? They're like, well, I ain't finna get locked up on no federal case. They're like, oh, hell no. That $3,500 you paid us to go get them hats? Fudge that. I ain't dealing with that. No, they're like, screw that. And they're not Nigerian, by the way. They're actually, they were born in Chicago. So I don't know why the media, I'm kind of glad the media says they're Nigerian as opposed to American because their Nigerian background in history but they were actually, they're Ameri they're citizens of the United States. So I think it's, the media is coming back on this guy. So that's why they wrote that they were Nigerian to like, sh like, uh, to put a, a demarcation line in, in his facts from his, like, from what he spoke about two white guys coming up to him. And you know what? They plan this to work. They all plan this to work. He paid them like, in, in all, like, 10 grand between both of them to do this and go get the rope and go get the mask and go get the red hats. And he's so stupid and he's such a horrible, horrible actor. And he, in the the note that he sent himself uh, a week before, which contained aspirin or ibuprofen, I don't remember, recall which one it was, that's a federal crime. So that didn't gain weight, right? That little note, it didn't get enough pop, Right? It didn't get enough pop for his name to be behind it. Like, oh, I got, ooh, racist, racist. So what did he do? He, he, a week later, he's like, all right, nobody's really talking about this. So he concocted this. Well, what he didn't know is that camera that he thought was facing the attackers, which they were all masked. You wouldn't tell they were Nigerian if they were masking at the hats. It would have all been on tape. If this were to all go to plan, this would have really ruined um, everything, and that's why I think Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, all of them are behind it. You see their interviews where they're like, "Well, the facts are still coming out." This is a Democratic paid operation right here. Something like this up, or add something to it, or or whatever it may be. I can't. I can't even. I'm an advocate. You're an actor. You're just such a disservice when you lie about things like this. Overnight, a new statement from Smollett's legal team defending the actor, saying, like any other citizen, Mr. Smollett enjoys the presumption of innocence, particularly when there has been an investigation like this one, where information, both true and false, has been repeatedly leaked. Given these circumstances, we intend to conduct a thorough investigation and to mount an aggressive defense. If convicted, <laughs> you better have a good Defense, bro. could put the 36 year old behind bars behind bars lock him up he'll love it we are told that smollett made a statement to police before being taken into custody he is expected here in bond court later this afternoon guys all right Eva, thank you for being our chief legal analyst and abrams and our senior legal I, don't, I don't really care what you guys have to say because you guys' opinions are irrelevant 
Everybody has known this since the Trump election. Your guys' opinions are irrelevant. They're skewed. You guys all backed him during this whole event. You guys pushed him on mainstream media. And now you guys are in damage control. Damage control. Let me just... Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm, here, I'm curious. Thank you both for coming in. I'm curious. This morning, Let's... Dan, it is, it is apparent that the police fully believe the brothers and fully believe that Smollett set this up. Right, and they must have corroborating evidence. We saw there the video of the brothers buying uh, the mask and the rope, etc. And Oh, they played the video. Wow, I'm surprised they did the that. the brothers implicate themselves in this if they had nothing to do with it, right? So now you're in a position where the only defense I can really think of for Smollett is going to be, <laughs> yes, they did this to me. I had no idea that they were going to do this to me, and they said these things, and I had nothing to do with it. That's why text messages, electronic receipts, anything All right, bringing come on, them shut up. You guys are, come on. This is many, many hours of, of mm -hmm. uh, you know, were, were spent investigating it, and Chicago is a very, very, this area is a very, very high crime area, and so those Wow, so she's actually bringing up good points. She's actually bringing up points that say... He wasted police's time. 24 FBI and police agents were tasked with figuring out this hate crime. They found out that it was him. He needs to repay all that. And he needs to do jail time. 10 years minimum. I'm sorry. He could have invoked a race war. There's a guy from Chicago that was on Lift the Veil's channel. And he was talking. And he's from Chicago. And... And I'm from the area. I'm from Iowa. It's It's been cold there, right? I know during the summer there's more murders because it gets heated up. It gets tense, right? People are out and about. They're doing shit. He said if this happened in the summer, this would have created a, a race war. They are very lucky that didn't happen. It was cold. People didn't want to go out and protest or do anything about it. Because people actually look at the media and what they are reporting, and they base that on factual evidence. Even though the media could be reporting completely false information. Let's hear a little bit more. I'm just curious. Hours could have been spent investigating well, what the police other are saying crimes. right now is that they, that they didn't use resources that would have been used on other homicides, but there are clearly costs yeah, people could, involved here, and any settlement would have to involve paying back those costs. Paying back those costs, and, and also think about the larger issue here, which is mm -hmm. the chilling effect on victims, crime victims coming forward. I spent many, That's true. many, many That's hours. True. All these people who are fake LGBT activists who beat themselves in the face and then say they were Trump supporters that beat them, and then they get arrested because they did it themselves themselves they're hurting the cause it's it's boy who cry wolf nobody will believe you when you come out and you actually say i have like it's a hate crime and you know what it's it's disgusting that we're stoking this fear in people because and you're desensitizing people to this and that's what the media has been doing they've desensitized it to just think that trump supporters and people who are on the right just they're hateful. They're this, they're that. And I'm glad they're being called out. I'm glad they're going to jail. Jesse Smollett, you need to go to prison for 20 years. Do some hard time. You'll really love the gay life in there. I love y'all. Born a Hawkeye, I'm not watching no more of this propaganda. I'm out.